Well, given our current financial crisis, it seems even the big wigs of the banks are having some trouble with math these days. Yeah, apparently it Real all math. starts in eighth grade. Maybe they should go back to school, huh? Yeah. Because the studies are showing now that even eighth graders are having some problems with numbers. Right? Yeah, listen to this. In general, eighth graders are doing better on national math tests, but students in advanced classes are doing worse. Mm. The study by the Brookings Institution shows many eighth graders in algebra classes. Oh, I hated algebra. Me too. They're in way mm -hmm. over their heads. Mm -hmm. More and more states are requiring eighth graders to enroll in algebra, so they're on track to take more advanced classes through high school. But experts say this shows the need for better preparation in early grades. And that is exactly why we're trying to help families today with this problem. Math educator and founder of Munchkin Math, Wendy Miller, is here with another lesson for all of us that can help you help your kids do better in math. And you see these headlines. I'm sure you say, Absolutely. wow. Absolutely. <laughs> One of the areas that um, most students struggle in is estimation and rounding. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's hard for kids because we usually don't test them just on the concept like 39 rounds to 40. We stick it in this really complex word problem. Mm -hmm. um, where they have to know, be really good readers and competent readers, as well as know the skill of yeah, estimation. Yeah, and then you have, right. you know, three or four answers. Could it be yes. A and B or mm -hmm. A, B and D? And it gets so complicated. It is hard. And there's some trigger words that kids definitely need to know um, about, estimate, and approximately. Mm -hmm. um, usually in elementary school, we hear about. So we'd say, the sweater was $30, about how much did it cost? Oh. And that's the trigger that, oh, we need to do an estimation problem. And there's that five rule, right? If you're mm -hmm. at 35, what do you do? You go up because it's halfway in between right. the 30 yeah, yeah. and the 40. So we're going to do a song, which is what uh -oh. we do at Munchkin Math, <laughs> to <laughs> help remember these different concepts. But if it's five and above, we go up. So Ken, that's going to be your part. We're going to say five and above. I have a solo? You have a solo. Oh, <laughs> uh, I've never had a solo. Before. All right. And you're going to say, give it a shove. And then, girls, when we say four and below, you're going to say, lay it low. Lay it low. Are you ready? Okay. I'll do it with both of you. So. Right. Okay. Five, Five and, and above, above give, give it a shove. shove. Four, four and, and below, below, lay it, lay it low. low. So <laughs> teach those to your kids at home because if they can have these song drops and chance to fall back on, it can uh, really help them remember what to do when they're in that situation. Is it time wow. to kind of rethink how we teach this in the sense of like a bow? and all those words, mm. they essentially all mean the same thing. Can teachers just do away with that and give us one shot at it? Um, or is that too simplistic? That's too simplistic. Uh, but we can remember about, 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 estimate, no doubt. Oh you'll my remember. Gosh. That's great. <laughs> all right. Although when you're 30 and you're <laughs> applying for your job at the IRS, I think if you're going about, about. <laughs> but it's a great way to teach kids. Yeah, so if you go to munchkinmath.com, we'll have all activities listed and the songs as well that you can use great. with your kids. There you have it. Let Thanks. them learn to love math early because it will only help them later on. Yes. You can find uh, Wendy's uh, math site off of our website as well, Colorado or myfoxcolorado.com. <laughs> Click on the SC. We need a song that. for that. Myfoxcolorado.com. <laughs> <laughs> Click on the good day icon. Perfect. Is that a, does that work? I liked okay. it. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Thanks, Thank Wendy. Thank you.